Hello and welcome to Rocky Desert. My name is Menturgis and welcome to a new episode. In the last episode we kind of did a lot of stuff. We constructed that section and in between we constructed the gasoline highway, the road to the oil. So if you've seen the factory tour, well that's kind of what we did. And well, I also built, I'm not quite sure if you can see it from here. Let's see if I can see it. Oh yeah, there it is. I've looked for Caterium because that's kind of something we need for the Blade Runners. And I really, I really wanted the Blade Runner because walking everywhere and using the truck was kind of annoying. So today in the Let's Play, we're going to do two things. Uh, one thing is connecting the Caterium to, well, to this facility and well I also did a little bit of painting if you want to pick some colors or something nice I will need to make just put it in the comment down below and the second thing we are going to do uh, we are still in need of the uh, steel beam casings and well I kind of want to make them on that platform. I'm not quite sure how much we are going to need. But what I do know is that I wanted to have it all in this section. So that this is going to be a little storage facility from where we can pick up stuff. And maybe I'm going to reorganize this and get uh, some uh, other resources in as well. But I'm not quite sure for that one yet. I do need to optimize a few things as you can see the rotors aren't going that well and that's basically because we don't have that much iron rods but well let's get right into constructing a nice little place here because well let's see how much of these assemblers we can create on this platform and Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, one back and it's perfectly aligned. Oh, and then I need to get get need to get used to these blade runners because they are kind of fast. All right, I wish I could place one more, but that is not going to work for sure. So what do we need for the uh, encasing industrial beams? We need the steel beams, of course, and the concrete. And as you can see, I already brought them up and they both have the exits going on this side. So let's, for, we, we are first going to start building. We definitely need to expand this later on because for the Mark tree, I definitely need more steel beams in case steel beams but for the basic this is going to be it all right so this is kind of the production line and i wonder if this is going how I want it to go, but we'll see that in a few seconds because I need to go over this one. So I do think, yeah, we definitely need to go and bring this one down. Oh well, that's not a problem. And let's make a nice turn. Just around here. And another one. Just around. Nope, that's not good. That's not good. We need it to be perfect. Everything needs to be perfect. Well, it's not 100% perfect because then we would build a way bigger factory. And uh, now I forgot where to put it. Was it this part? I do think so. Uh, well, almost good. It will do for now. In the end, we need to make everything bigger anyway, so... All 
All right. Got the bells. Uh, we can remove this. And now we need to take a look. This is kind of the stairway to the top of the factory. Let's take a look at that because this is going to be the next floor. So as you can see, oh man, I do really like that. If you haven't seen the highway, go check out uh, the factory tour. Uh, factory tour five. If I'm, I'm doing that out of my head now. No, never good things. And yeah, this is the place. And. This is good. Is this going to fit? Yeah, I do think so. Perfect. Hmm. That conveyor belt has an invalid shape, but I do like. Oh no, this one doesn't. That's not good as well. It needs to be. One step more this way. All right. Well, we can do that. All right. Let's see. Now it works, and that one. Yeah, that will work. That will definitely work. Now let's fill up the splitters. So in the end we are going to... Oh, this, this is already going... Uh, well, let's see if it's going to work. Because normally you have to play the top one first. Oh, well, it does work. If they cover each other, well, then you're in a little bit of trouble. But in this section, well, we're not having any trouble. Let's finish it then. Alright, perfect, perfect. Oh man, I like the way they go just above my head. Alright, next thing we need to, because for now we don't need that much steel beam, but once we hit the next level, well, we are going to crank everything up, and you need power. Alright, so we get a power line on that side, uh, we got a lot of power lines, the power lines are kind of not a problem, so I'm even thinking of expanding that way, well, hmm. well, hmm. I'm not quite sure we could even expand that way. We could expand to the sky, but I really need to think we need bigger factories, halls. Uh, let's see, first thing we need to do is build a little exit. Come on, build. Oh, I'm out of iron rods. That, I didn't see that one coming. Uh, let's see, where can I find iron rods? Because iron rods is kind of the biggest problem in this factory. At the moment all the iron rods are going up here. And we definitely don't have a lot of iron rods at the moment. Yep, let's take a look upstairs because, well, I need to do something about that iron rod problem and I definitely need a new iron source for that. And yeah, this one has iron rods. As you can see, normally in the last episode, this wouldn't have that much iron rod, but at least now it is running and. Well, it was kind of waiting for the screws, so that's a good thing. And as you can see, this one is already working at 100% capacity. But I'm definitely going to want more in the future, so, well, 
How much space do we get in the back? Because, well, we can go that way. Yeah, we can definitely go that way. I think we're going to do that and make some kind of of uh, iron rod factory at the bottom. How far is iron? 400 meters that way. Oh yeah, we got three deposits on that side. Oh well, that that's something for the next next episode. But that sounds definitely going to be a solution. Oh man, I really like these Blade Runners. If you don't have them yet, uh, check out my how-to video on how to get the Caterium because that's where we show you how to get the Caterium. And well, we are maybe going to show you that in this episode as well, but that episode tells us all in detail what you need to get the Blade Runners and to get the Caterium because well depending on your starting location that could be a hard thing definitely can be a hard thing I've been looking a lot on small maps looking uh, for ways to find a Caterium and now I got you a total guide I can even show it in the well at the end of this video I guess so all right but let's focus on the task that needs to be done. And now the only thing we need is power. Uh, I kind of want to have it in between. Yeah. It needs to go that way. So that way is connected. And that's all connected, all right. You, uh, I got three of you, two of you. What's the problem? Encrouched, inc ah. Yeah, that's a perfect location. So maybe in the end we are going to build another one, we're going to expand the factory to that side because well, expansion, expansion is all we need to do. Uh, let's connect these babies to the power grid. And they should be running, no they sh don't because we haven't connected the last part. And that's this section. You are going to the bottom. You are going to the... No, I hate when that happens. I really hate that. You are going to be connected. And... This is what I meant because, well, we can remove these two. That's no, it, it doesn't go in a fit. It doesn't go in a fit. I hate when that happens. But oh uh, well, we'll. Fix it because we are from Fix It Incorporated. Now the top one is connected, and the bottom one, and you need to go with a splitter. And the last thing that needs to be done is this one, and well, I guess. You guys should be running at 100% efficiency. The only problem is the speed. So how much power are we using anyway? We are using only 300 megawatts, that's not much. But at least we got the first steel encasements coming out. So that's a good thing and we kind of want to get them up top as well. Not quite sure where, but let's first Let's see if we can get the Caterium done in this episode as well. What do we need for the next tier? I don't even know. I definitely need to know. 
And I also need to upgrade the copper because that's going to be a problem in the long run. All right, we need a medical inhaler. We need, ooh, that's nice. Heavy module frames. So we need rubber for that. And uh, well, we can do that one. We just need to get some rubber. All right, we are not going to take the truck this time. We are going to walk our way. Oh man, I do need to have a miner because else the Caterium. I'm not able to take the Caterium. Alright. Get ourselves a miner. Uh, miner portable, miner craft one. I kind of want to have a level 2 miner there immediately because, well. So I need some steel encasements as well. well. We should be able to have those now. Let's get there as fast as we can. Oh man, I really like the look of these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, ten, 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 ten. Let's get a few, let's get a few because you never know when you're going to need them. All right. Let's get to the Caterium section. Oh man, um, no, yeah, that's the way I like to go. And oh man, I love occurring through my factory. This is all going to go pretty soon because we are going to go on gasoline. Oh, 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 that, that's a little bit too big of a jump. Ow! Oh man, I'm still alive. That's a good thing. All right, where did I place? It's going to be somewhere over there. Yeah, it should be somewhere. Yeah, there it is. And the truck is kind of the same speed as the Blade Runners. The only thing that's going to beat in the next episode is the train. And well, there's going to be some kind of Explorer buggy. So that's going to be neat. That's definitely going to be neat. All right. So are we going to build a little platform, a little factory here to get the Caterium bars out? Well, we could. I guess we're going to do that. Let's build a little, little factory up here but i guess that's going to be finished in the next episode for now first last build oh i also need to get power up here hmm, i totally forgot about that because the coal is over there that's going to be one yeah so i guess oh man well i now know for sure we're not going to have this finished I also need my chainsaw. These trees definitely need to go. And if you know me, trees have to go. Definitely. Alright, so let's start and build a small little factory all the way up here. And... Alright, so this is going to be, it's going to be, well, not going to be a small factory. So we need space for storage, we need space for workers, I want to have a few lines as well. And we need some foundries, because I want to have the maximum capacity I want to have this done the right way. Alright, so this is going to be it, I think. That way we can still get up there. We... No, this, is, this is not how I want it. 
So we're going to change it a little bit, just a little bit, because I, I don't like the ground. I had that problem before. Yeah, this is this way. We're going to do it this way. Oh man, my mind is going banana like now. All right, and I want to have a little walk space. So I guess this is going to be the factory. And it's going to be like a four small factory with an entrance. Oh man, trees gotta go, you gotta go. And can afford it. Oh, players in the way. <laughs> I'm in the way. Alright, so this is going to be the entrance. And walls, walls, walls. So this is going to be the entrance and um, well I'm going to kind of build it immediately because then this the walls at least are done. And I'm out of concrete. I was expecting that to happen. Alright, so the plan is going to be, I guess, two smelters would be efficient, and the rest going to be four, maybe even more. I'm, I'm even thinking of doing one more line, extra line. Just because we can, and it's nice. But first thing first, let's bring some power in here, but, well, I guess you guys have to wait until the next episode. This is going to be a small factory. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this little factory, uh, this little build, and we're going to finish it in the next episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you do, uh, press the like button. If you haven't already, press the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. And, well, I hope to see you all in the next Let's Play. And if you are looking for the factory tour, go on my channel. It's going to be also at the end of this video. So, see you all in the next episode.